Hi guys, so in today's video, we are going to turn a doll like this into an elf. This one is a brand new doll. She comes in this case and she is dressed in what they're calling pajamas. This is a Make It Mine doll and she is absolutely brand new. I'm going to turn this doll into a fantasy figure. I'm going to turn her into an elf. She is basically a BJD, but she's made of ABS plastic as opposed to resin. Okay guys, so here she is, head cap firmly glued, and I'm ready now to turn her into an elf. And I think she'll be a perfect candidate. The ears are sticking out, so it'll be easy to apply the resin. So what I'm going to do now is basically apply hair. I've rolled out a lot of these little ringlets that I call them. And I'm going to put her over here. I'm just going to place them on her head and flatten. I'll be able to use my shaping tool later. I know this looks odd, but you guys will see what I'm doing soon enough. I just use it to press it out and I just press, press, press. I'm just going to see how her hair lays. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue applying hair all over and then I'll go to the next one. My goal right now is to lay down these tendrils of epoxy resin to give the hair a shape. I'm trying to create a pixie-like haircut for this doll. And this is very easy to do. As you can see, you just lay down the hair and then you use a stylus. You can use anything. I'm using a wooden stylus, but you can use a toothpick if that's what you have and just shape the hair to resemble a pixie cut. And I just love working on this type of doll because it is ABS plastic. This resin bonds to this plastic really well and it all becomes very uniform. So what I'm going to do is try to give it a shape, cover everything. And once I apply the resin to this plastic on the head cap, I cannot remove it, which means you have to make your decisions for your eye color way in advance. There she goes. And my next job is to make the ears. And that's another reason why the hair is so flat on both sides of her head, because I want to emphasize the ears that will go up. And there's lots of different kinds of fairies and you can make the ears any way you want. This is a fantasy doll, so you can do anything you want to do. And basically she just has a little cap of hair. And now I'm going to make the ears. By gluing down the head cap, I realized that I cannot change the eyes now, which is fine. So once you make this decision, you just have to go with it. With BJDs, you can always change the eyes and do things like that. But when you customize and you use this kind of epoxy resin, you can't change the eyes once you've put the resin on the head. So you just have to make your decisions way ahead of time. So I am just thrilled with this doll. I just love this ABS plastic. You have so much freedom. You can do whatever you want. And actually, it looks like it could be a boy or a girl with this kind of haircut. Okay, so this is the first layer for the ears. The second layer, I'm going to add just a thin piece of the resin throughout this whole thing. So this carries right through. So it looks like the ear goes through. Right now you can see this outline of the ear, which I used as my guide to build the points. So I know where to start and stop the points. The next step is to put a very thin layer over this, but I have to let her dry for 24 hours. So after 24 hours, I'm just gonna put another small coat here and here and continue. Then let her dry again and then we'll start to paint. So guys, I'm finally done with the sculpting part. Both ears are fairly similar. They're not identical. That was like really hard to do. What I'm going to do now is wait for her ears to dry for another 24 hours. And then I'm going to sand it a little bit just to smooth things out. And then I'm going to paint. 
the hardest part of this project is going to be matching her ears, the new clay to her skin tone when I paint it, trying to find something that matches. So I'm going to do that after I sand down the ears. So there's going to be a lot of mixing of paint involved. But I'm fairly happy with the way her hair turned out and the way the ears turned out. So guys, here she goes. I have sanded smooth the ears. And so what I'm going to do now is paint. Like I mentioned, the hardest part would be matching the skin tone. But for the hair, I'm going to go for a reddish brown. So guys, here she is, or it could be he. What I really like about the BJD body that these Make It Mine dolls have is it could be a boy or girl. And unlike other BJDs, this doll is not anatomically correct. So you can go nuts. You can do whatever you want, sculpt, and it could be whatever character you're creating. I painted the hair dark brown with reddish highlights, and I think she looks great. And the ears, I got the color to match really well, I think. I'm very happy with how she turned out. And to continue our fairy-like elf wardrobe i'm putting all these pieces together to create her costume this is stuff we found in our stash this is actually a dress that one of our welly wishers was wearing and there's a gold ribbon this is a vintage doll dress baby doll dress it is huge and the lace hem is ripping so i might just cut it off and this is a hair ribbon so i'm going to put this together to make her outfit so guys, here she goes. She is completely dressed and I just love her outfit. The sheer dress at, that I added underneath the orange one just adds a fairy-like ethereal look to the whole outfit. Gives her an old-fashioned elf look. And the best part is there's very little sewing. I just stitched it together and I can undo it if I change my mind. And I've also included a lot of pictures at the end of the videos so you guys can get a better look. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.